the year Coon Rapids became a city is the same year a grocery store worker decided to open up his own market. 57 years later, Jensen's Food still offers fresh produce, baked goods, and smiles. We take a look back and ahead at the store and what keeps it going strong. The community needs a little business like us. Anchoring the Northdale Shopping Center in Coon Rapids, Jensen's Foods has been feeding the neighborhood for more than half a century. I like the business and went to school and decided I wanted to have some supermarkets. George Jensen opened the store on Northdale Boulevard in 1959 after working at his parents' grocery store in Golden Valley. A man was developing the houses around here, the Orrin Thompson houses, and he saved this corner for a commercial. We said, yep, yeah, we'll take it. George's daughter Jennifer learned valuable lessons in these aisles. I grew up in the grocery store. My dad put me to work at a very young age. After selling the place in the 80s, things went downhill at the store. The previous owners had been picketed and um, the business had dwindled down to nothing. So we thought it was a great opportunity to come in, start over, start fresh and in, in build a new store. Jennifer Washburn and then husband Corbin Washburn took over the store in 1991, renaming it Jensen's Foods. I've been working hard in the business for a long time and it was great to bring the name back into the community again. Um, and, and reestablish that connection. Yeah, there was a lot of challenges. You know, the sales were like zero, and uh, the really the biggest challenge was to make a living. <laughs> you know, Jennifer and Corbin found customers were in the market for more than what Jensen's had offered. Slowly, we added all the different departments back into the store. We added our bakery department back, which is a great draw. We added on our deli, which has been um, wonderful, and then full circle to our meat department as well. We wanted to bring it back, and I'm all about uh, fresh, and I have to have it be just so. Oh, our homemade pickles that we make are the best in the world. Uh, I'm biased, of course, you know, but they're really good. You know, a lot of our bakery products are caramel croissants. I'm sure you've heard about those from other people, maybe even tried them, you know. You should if you don't, you know, <laughs> if you haven't. Our potato salad's homemade. It's my mom's recipe. The banana bread's my recipe. So we have a lot of specialty items. You go look at the case out there. Not too many people around here, especially in the metro area, cut, do this kind of meat cutting anymore. A lot of personal service and uh, very excellent foods, and people like both of them. Basically, you're getting steak and chuck roast for your ground beef, straight up. So yeah, we're old fashioned. We always will be, I hope. Although he's no longer the owner, George still offers a helping hand. He's just turned 80, and um, he still comes to the store nearly every day and checks up on us. George helps us all the time. My daughter brought it back, and uh, I told her, I'd help her. He goes to the farmer's market for us just about every morning in the summertime and brings in all the fresh produce. We have almost like a little farmer's market in the front of our store. I just say, yay, George, thanks, you know. <laughs> He's just been such a great influence on us and has guided us through this, this journey. He's shared tips to be successful in the business. Lots of hard work, absolutely. We're, you know, very much hands-on. Customer service, yep. very important. He's yeah. definitely taught me that through the years. I've been here for 55, six years, and uh, I know lots and lots of the customers. Hundreds of employees have come and gone over the years, but a few stand out. I had twin brothers running the meat department. Yeah, they even looked alike. I couldn't tell them. In fact, I hired, I hired the one brother uh, to run the meat department, and that afternoon, uh, I didn't know it was his twin, but this fellow came in and he just looked like the guy I hired in the morning. And uh, it was his twin brother. <laughs> we had both of them working here and uh, <laughs> it was kind of fun. <laughs> and they were both very excellent meat people and uh, that was uh, a highlight in the store. I do remember uh, Ike and Mike in the meat department, the butchers. They were, um, they were quite the draw to our meat department and now we've got Jimmy and John back in. So that's, that's kind of a great memory is to have the, the brothers back in the meat department. Sure do. Right, John and Jim. Opportunity came up to get John in the store we had in St. Francis, and uh, we hired Jim. So we had the two brothers. Uh, these are orders for the senior citizens in Anoka, like the Oaks and all them senior buildings. John and Jim Lusher share more in common than just the space where Mike and Ike Rhodes once worked. 
the meat cutters were two brothers, yeah. Mike and Ike. Yeah. And then we had a store in Anoka, and uh, Ike's the one who taught Jimmy how to cut meat. Yep. Then he worked for us years later. Corbin and Jennifer maintain and grow the store by sticking to their own strengths to keep refrigerators whole. We have a great balance. He, um, he's always been the operational manager and I've taken care of the administrative work and the bookkeeping. So that works well, so we have our, our uh, separate titles and yet we work well together. A new Cub Foods grocery store is on the way, moving just nine blocks from Jensen's threatening business. Think about it all the time. You know, we, we can only hope. That's all. We can just hope that we got enough loyal customers and you know, I'm always been a small store guy. Always gonna have a concern, but we'll just have to wait and see and, and then just play forward after that. I mean, that's all you can do and you know, take care of your customer. That's number one. We'll probably still be okay, you know. I'm sure uh, people are gonna go check it out at first, but uh, I'm thinking they'll maybe come back to us, you know, we're more specialty and home, you know, family oriented store and I don't know, we'll see how it goes, you know. People come back for our, our quality product that we offer, you know, and, and a fair price. I've been here for, what, 50 some years, and uh, somebody comes in about every four or five years and builds a big store. <laughs> uh, and we've been able to survive, and hopefully we can survive this too. Uh, we know most of our customers, and they support us, and. Uh, we give a lot of personal service and just has worked out pretty good and I'm hoping it'll still work out good. I know they're going to take some of our, our grocery business, but we think we have enough specialty business in our bakery and deli and meat that will retain our customers. They're pretty loyal, so, and we really appreciate that. You know, you get into the big stores, you become a number, at least here you can show your abilities and your quality. You get to work with the customer. You know, we'll always be old fashioned that way. The future of Jensen's is unknown, but George and his family hope to remain an important part of keeping their neighbors happy and not hungry after each visit. I don't really care whether my name is attached to the store. I care about how the store is run and uh, how we still treat the customers. I say we, it isn't my store at all. It's my daughter's store and her ex-husband. And uh, they get along good and uh, run a nice store and they like the business and think the personnel that works here. They're uh, so wonderful and know the customers so well and uh, we really take care of the customers personally because uh, that's something everybody likes and you don't get it in hardly any store. You can go to the big stores and sure they got more product, but uh, there's nobody to help more than anything. We've held our own and maintained our business and survived through it all, so I think we'll survive through this next. Oh, thank you. I'm good. Thank you. Good. Have a good day. We just appreciate the people of Coon Rapids so much. Uh, they've supported us and helped us over all the years. And, uh, all the people that have worked here um, have been so fantastic. And, uh, it's really the people that have worked here that have created this business, uh, not me. I, um, I've just been here. <laughs> Jensen's is open every day from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. located on Northdale Boulevard and Juniper Street.